Dream King Films. We're here with Mr. Showtime himself, the playmaker Tyree Saunders of the First Coast Buccaneers. Hey, Tyree, man, we see the gill, man. Let me, let me see it. Yeah. We, we, we see the gill, man. Virginia Tech, man, you just made it official. The Hokies, man, real quick, yeah. Tyree, talk about that real quick. Man, it's a blessing, man. Blessing from God, man. Just, you know, having the ability to play big time football, go to a great school, great academics, you know, just, you know, trying to further my career and just keep playing, you know, trying to be the best player I can be and just continue on what I'm doing to try to improve and get better at everything I do. Yes, sir. Your mom and dad was in the building, big smiles on their face, family and friends, big smiles on their face. Just real quick, talk about those smiles you had on your family and friends and parents' face. Man, it was amazing, man. Everybody been supporting me from the beginning, man. You know, when I didn't have no offers, and when I started getting offers, you know, the support has just been amazing. I got more support. My school, and you know, I had to have my school was at the, at my sign, man. I just appreciate everybody for coming out, supporting me. And, you know, just everybody seeing my smile, knowing that, you know, I made a good decision. Everybody know that I made a great decision. And I was just, I'm glad how everything played out. And, I was ready to look forward to it. Talk about the recruitment process, man. Give me some ups and some downs, some things that you went through. Uh, man, the recruitment right, you could get hit, man. It could get crazy, man. It could kind of get you down on yourself, and it could get you up. You know, it's like it's like a full circle, man. You know, it comes with up and down. You know, you want certain stuff, certain stuff from certain schools. You know, but you can't get everything you want, man. It's just you gotta do the best. You know, what comes to you, what comes to you, you can just it's all up to God, man. Just, I leave it in God's hands. Just work hard, do the best, practice hard, play hard for your team. And just keep doing what you need, things you need to do on the field and off the field. Recruiting gonna come in as long as you do the things off the field and you do the things on the field. But you know you ain't gonna go to one school. One school will find you. So just you know work hard, play hard, get good film, get grades. You know have build relationship with coaches and you know communicate. And you know and just leave it in God's hands and it'll play out for you good. Staying with the recruitment process, Tyree. Uh, you was long time committed to South Florida, decommitted, finally made it official Virginia Tech. Just talk about that both decisions, man. Decommit from South Florida, then ultimately uh, committing to, to Virginia Tech. Well, man, you know my, my dream was always go bit time football, bit power one, bit power five football. So when the opportunity came, you know, I just took it. You know, USF is a great school, and like no shade to them, they're a great school, but. You no, know, I, I just feel like that was, that was like was it, was it for me, talent wise and you know playing wise competition. You know, I want to compete against the best, and have a chance to play against it. Like you know schools like Clemson, ACC, Florida State, you know bowl game, you know play against big power, you know big other schools yeah. and compete. Georgia Tech, all the good schools out there, man. So just having an opportunity to compete against them, and it was just show that I'm one of the best in the city, and I show them that I want to be one of the best when I get to college. Uh, talk about that real quick, man. Your official visit, um, some of the things you did, some of the fun you had while you was up there in Blacksburg. How did they treat your parents, man? Man, they treated my family good. It was my mom up there first time, so you know it's her first time seeing everything. You know, she wanted to see everything on the academic side. That's all that really mattered to her. So you know, they showed her that they got a great academic program set up. You really can't fail unless you want to fail. Like you got to be try hard to fail. So when they go take care of your academic student while you go, you go there and get your degree, and you have you can have a job waiting on you in football. Don't play not for the next level. And then football wise, you know, they show a lot of love. The coaches show love. The players. You know, I talk to them on the side, you know, they'll tell me like the coaches are they really about what they say. And they're very honest and transparent, you know, I appreciate that. You know, honestly, you know, I feel like they know what I needed and you know, I feel like they're gonna take care of me when I get out there and I'll have a chance to succeed in all facets of life. Talk about your skill set, what makes you a great wide receiver. Talk about their style of play and what can you do to go up there and flourish in their offense. Uh, just study the playbook, you know, just learn everything. Cause my the receiver coach that who was at Virginia Tech, he, he's a numbers guy. Like, he, he writes everything out from drops, catches. He watches every practice. You know, he, he stats on everything you do in practice. So if you do good in practice, or you do good in your stats number, of course, you will play. He, he will play freshman. He don't care about freshman, senior, junior, all that. He go whoever performing well in practice, that's who's going to start and get him a little playing time. So just go in there, my mind being focused, being determined, working hard. Doing all the little things, learning whatever I need to learn from the seniors or other classmen, but also trying to, you know, outplay them. Do you know? I'm trying to take somebody's spot, you know. So I'm trying to get on the field. So also learning from them, watch them from them. Must they let them go first? Watch what they doing. They doing it right. Do it like them. They doing it wrong. You know, ask you know for correction and stuff. Just do whatever it takes. You know, try to get on that field to start the first day. And you know, he gonna let you. He gonna he play. He played a freshman early this year. You know, he said he will play freshman. And they know what they're doing. They, they perform well in practice. So I'm just looking forward to that and having the opportunity as well. Yeah, so one of those freshmen that got playing time was Keyshawn King from the Jacksonville area. Did you talk to him anything? Oh, and yeah. if you did, did he sway your decision to go to uh, yeah. Virginia Tech any? I talked to Keyshawn. I talked to Shamari. I was up there with them boys on my officials almost the whole whole time. Keyshawn, you know, he loved it up there. He said he coached really. You know, he basically said what I was saying, work hard, come in. They love Florida boys. 
you know, they want to give us opportunities. They got to come and show them that you know, we can know we know the plays, we know the system. Once we know that, our talent mostly you know, you know oversee everything else. So just go in there, do what they need us to do, get bigger and stronger. He, like they will play. They love Florida boys. They treat us well. Keyshawn, he got a lot. Of, he got hurt a little bit here and there, but he he probably he probably might have a good chance to start next year fully. And you know, we, Shamari, well, Shamari already started, so he doing his thing as well. So I have an opportunity to come in and do the same, just work hard, but ask ask them for advice on what they did in these situations, and just I do my best. You know, they're gonna, they gonna give me an opportunity. It's just on me. One of your childhood um, teammates, one of your childhood friends, Fred Davis, he just made it official to Clemson yes, University. Fred Davis from TC, man, Trinity Conquerors. You're going to be competing against Fred on the next level, man. Just <laughs> talk about that going from friends to Division One Power Five uh, rivals and uh, him being at Clemson and you being at Virginia Tech. Man, it's crazy, man. It's something that we've been dreaming about since, you know, we were a little wisdom saying pop on the team. He was, uh, he was my quarterback. He was throwing me the ball. So now that he could be covering me, you know, I'm a, you know, that's my friend all the field, but on the field, you know, we gotta we gotta go at it to get each other better. Like we did on seven on seven here, practicing to get each other, getting each other better. So it could be it's all gonna be competing, you know, making plays, you know, to so get everybody else better, you know, for the next level. So I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun, you know, after the game that we're gonna snap it on tape, it's all gonna be good. But during the game, you know, sixty minutes, you know, I don't know him, he don't know me, he's gonna be going at it. But you know, it's good to look back like, man, we came all together, played part one, now we on the one of the top levels of premier college football and have a chance to compete against each other and just represent our city and our teams and our family and everybody knows each other, so it's great, it's awesome. Yes, sir, a lot of little kids in Jacksonville, man, throughout the country want to continue on with the same dream uh, you living out today, Tyree. But real quick, talk about how important grades is in this process and being respectful it is in the process of moving on to the next level further in your academic as well as athletic career, Tyree. Man, it means a lot, man. Your academic means a lot. Your academic can get you offers that you probably wouldn't get if you had a lower grade, or I mean, lower GPA, whatever your academic may be. Them grades, you take care of your grades, everything else take care of it. If you're a baller, just, you know, just aim for C's and B's, man. You know, I know everybody not great at school. You know, I'm not that great at school, but, you know, I figured I had friends help me. You know, just do what you got to do and try to get you that level. You don't want nothing to hold you and stop you from going to know where you possibly could go to the next level after that in the NFL. You don't want grades. School holds you back. So, you know, just handle your business on, you know, in the classroom, talk to your teacher. You might, if you don't like your teacher, you know, just, you know, just bear with them. You know, fake, I say fake it till you make it, man. You know, because you don't want nobody to hold you back from what you got going on football wise or career wise after that. So just understand you know, that and respect level wise, man. Just be respectful to like any adults or coaches because you never know who they may know. I, I got a few offers just off of knowing a couple of people. You know, they just being good friends or being a good person, you know, good character, good respect. You know, shaking firm hands, shaking, looking in my eyes. I got like like five or six hours just always shaking somebody's hand without them looking at my film. It's just, it can tell respect could go a long way. So you know, just do the right thing all the time. You know, if you have a hard time, just work on it or, you know, fake it till you make it, I guess. But, but you know, you definitely want to have those two things where it can take you way more farther than, you know, just, I guess, being a bad person. Hey, Tyree, thanks for talking with me. Good luck to your future. No problem. Shout out to my boy Phil, man. Dream Kings Phil, man. Since Pop Warner, we here, man. Big time. 2020, and that's what's signing today, man. We out.